Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with another Out of the Park game for you. Now, as it appears on the screen, and it would be correct, um, this is a Kansas City Royals playthrough that I am doing. I am the manager of the Kansas City Royals, not the general manager, so we'll see if the general manager AI can do a better job than the real-life general manager, although... The real-life general manager did take them to the World Series in 2015 in, with the deals that he made. So we're going to do, we're starting in 2023, we're the Royals. We are 0-2 as you can see right here. Um, I played the first two games mainly because I, was, I had meant to record opening day. Well, when I recorded it, um, I was recording it with some other software and... Um, that it didn't work really well, it messed up. Then I recorded it again with a different software, but I also made some mistakes in that. So those games are in the book, and, and as you can see, we lost the last game six to one. Uh, we'll look at the box score of the last game where we lost six to one. Grenke pitched that game, the, uh, the uh, charismatic Grenke, Zach Grenke. As you can see, we didn't do really well. Um, Bobby Witt Jr. had a good game, and he is so far a very good player for us, but nobody else is, apparently. Grenke went seven and two-thirds. He allowed nine hits, six earned runs, and he walked three while striking out only five through 107 pitches. So, uh, But Stalmont, Stalmont came in, and he pitched really well. So we're going to get on with this uh, Kansas City Royals uh, playthrough. Um, I am, as we say, 0-2, but it is Kansas City. As we can see, uh, you go up here, you go to reports and info, and you go to preseason predictions, and they are predicting us to be 66 and 96. So they're not really, they don't have, they're not holding out a lot of good hope for us, although the Twins are supposed to be only an 81 and 81 team. Now, I will, uh, tell you that that really doesn't mean too much um these out of the park predictions for a team's record are rarely in my experience rarely ever very good very uh, accurate so we'll see if we can beat um the 60 whatever it was 66 wins i don't know if we can do much better than that though honestly um I'm not the GM because we're in modern times and uh, I don't like dealing with the salary caps and this and that. And plus I'm the Royals, so they're going to say I don't have enough money to sign free agents. I'm going to let the AI worry about that um, and about drafting good players to try to make us a good team going forward. Um, and uh, what else? There was something else I wanted to cover. Oh, yes. You're probably saying to yourself, oh, you know what? He had a Phillies season that he was doing, and he also had an Orioles season that he had started. What happened to those? Well, what happened to those is uh, this is a new computer because my other one died. Now, luckily, I had Out of the Park 24 in Steam. So when I got the new computer, all I had to do, it was just a matter of... Um, uh, going into my Steam account and typing in my information and then Steam brought up all the games that I own and I can at any time extract those and, and play them as I'm doing right now with Out of the Park 24. But it doesn't it didn't save any previous seasons that I had done. And I decided to do the Royals just because it's no pressure. I'm the manager. It's a bad team. I'm not expected to win. Uh, we're going to finish today here, and then we are going to get on with playing ball. We got Chris Bubich pitching in this game. So the lineup that uh, the Twins are going to put out there, that Rocco Baldelli is going to put out there, are uh, Joey Gallo at first base leading off, Jose Miranda as DH, Carlos Correa will be the shortstop and batting third. Then you got Byron Buxton at center field. Max Kepler in right. Christian Vasquez will do the catching for him. Nick Gordon will be at second. Kyle Farmers at third. And Michael Taylor will be the left fielder. And he has Sonny Gray going up against us. 
We, for our part, are going to lead off with Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, as the third baseman, then Michael Massey at second base, Salvi Salvador Perez, the catcher, will bat third, Victor Pasquatino will be the first baseman, uh, Fran Mil Reyes will be our DH and batting fifth, um, MJ Melendez will bat sixth and be the right fielder, Edward Olivares is in left. Kyle Isbell is the center fielder batting eighth. And we got Nicky Lopez bringing up the rear in the ninth spot. And he'll be the shortstop. So with all of that having been said, let's get on with this game. You know, let's get this thing in the books. Uh, so there you go. You got Joey Gallo ready to face my man left-hander Bubich. And uh, we're going to get a nice view of Kauffman Stadium. We started out at home. We had all the conditions rife for us to try to win, but uh, we have not won yet. That's going to be a flyout by Gallo to center field, and Esbel takes care of it. One down, and you got Jose Miranda as the, D is the DH batting second, and he's going to fly out to right. So Bubich gets the first two batters. Now, it's interesting to note that in the first two games that we lost, we got the uh, top of the first one, two, three. So we didn't hear. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's almost actually a good sign as they got a base hit. And now Byron Buxton is going to uh, ground sharply to Pasquatino at first, and he takes care of it. So we're up. Um, we allowed no runs in the top of the first, and here we are taking on Sunny Gray. You can see those pitchers are very accurate. I love the new, I love that the pitchers that the they have the uh, accurate drawings of the players in the in the uh, new game, and that's partly why I decided to go 2023 and move on. I also want to see how the computer handles like. It's got to generate new players at some point. We have two outs here, but Salvi goes deep. <laughs> And he gives us a one nothing lead. So I'd be interesting to see how the computer handles, um, you know, generating new players. And as going forward, like in 2050, what's this team going to look like? Now, I don't know if I'll play up till 2050. But Sonny Gray just hit a batter. And so now we've got Fran Mil Reyes batting. And uh, maybe that's a base hit. That is a base hit. So we got runners at first and second, two outs. We're doing a lot of damage with two outs here. MJ Melendez is up, and he is going to be thrown out at first base as the uh, catcher Vasquez dropped the third strike, but managed to throw him out. We're ahead one nothing. top of the second. Bubich. Bubich is going to strike out the first guy he faces. Bubich is pitching great so far, although... He doesn't have the stamina as the other guys had, um, Singer and uh, and Greinke. Um, So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, that's going to be a fly ball to right. And Bubich gets us out of the second. We're ahead one nothing after two. Or, well, after one and a half. But we're batting in the second, so they can't score in the second anymore. And that's going to be a fly ball to left, to medium left field. One down. Kyle Isbell is the batter. And Kyle Isbell is going to fly to center. And it, I note that in real life, I haven't really seen much of Bubich in real life. Um, so I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know if he's injured. I'm not really a Kansas City Royals fan. But if you are, leave a comment in the uh, box and let me know what happened to Bubich. Uh, I had him on my major on my uh, Stratomatic team at one point, and I was trying to get him factored in, you know, and try to, you know, hope that he could hang on and be a good starter going forward. Uh, but that hasn't so far happened that I know of. So they got a runner aboard with Taylor up and no outs. But Taylor grounds the third base into a double play, and that's going to be two down really quickly. And Bubich is commanding the Twins so far. Of course, they got some left-handed batters in that lineup. That might be part of the reason they're not doing as well against him. Um, you know, like Gallo. So we got Bobby Witt Jr. We're back to the top of the order with a one nothing lead here in the bottom of the third. And Witt is going to pop out to third base. Which brings Michael Massey up. 
like Michael Massey, good young player. You know, a lot of these guys, a lot of these Kansas City players, they're young. So we'll see what happens with them. They can still develop, you know, in the out-of-the-park engine, and it'll be separate. I've got it set so that their development is separate from what would happen in real life. So we'll see. Some of these players might actually turn into really good players, like Bubich. And Bubich is going to strike out the first guy he faces. Bubich is not even having it. He's not. Oh, he strikes out the second guy. Bubich is just dealing today. And he struck out the side, Bubich did. So we're going to the top of the fourth with a one nothing lead and Vinny Pascatino up. Pascatino is going to fly out to right field. And uh, Fran Mil Reyes is up. Fran Mil is going into the corner. Looks like that's going to be a double. Double from the main man. So we got a guy at second with one down. So this is a this is a vastly different game than the other games against the Twins have been. MJ Melendez is up and he's going to walk. So you got two runners on, only one out. Edward Olivares and he's striking out. So there he goes. And that brings up Kyle Isbell. And Kyle Isbell is going to, is he going to, he's flying out. So that takes care of that. We go to the top of the fifth. Um, by the way, um, I recently had a contest on my uh, site, on my YouTube uh, channel, to give away the Stratomatic All-Star Collector sets for 1983 and 1933. And there was a winner of that. That was Shane Orr of the... Uh, base, baseball Maelstrom channel. And there's going to be an error, probably on Pascatino, but anyway, there's a man aboard with one out. So he won the contest. I just want to let everybody know that. Um, if you didn't see the announcement, I put it out on my community tab. So you should be able to have seen it there anyway. And now you've got uh, Bubich is dealing to Kyle Farmer. It's going to be a shame when he runs out of gas because I think he's going to run out of gas before like the 7th. And, uh, you know, you know me, I'm an old school guy. I like starters to go 7 or 8 um, or 9. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't appear like it's going to be in the cards for Bubich because he is getting used up pretty uh, pretty uh, quickly here. How that, however, you can see Sonny Gray still has a lot of gas in the tank. And he is shutting us down pretty well. I mean, you know, one run is not a big deal. You would think that the Twins could think to themselves, hey, we can get one run. There is two down, though, and Michael Massey is the batter, so Witt was, had just flown out. And he's going to be out. So we maintain that one nothing lead, but we got Bubich pitching like a star here. And you can see right here, he's, like, being used up pretty quickly. He's going to go up against Michael Taylor, though, who isn't all that great. And Michael Taylor is going to ground out to short. So that's one down quickly. And uh, Joey Gallo is going to be the batter. Left-handed batter struck him out. And that brings to the plate Chris... Wait, no, Chris Bubich is, is pitching still. And, yeah, that brings one of their players. And he just ripped a single to right field. Uh, that actually was uh, Miranda. And so now Carlos Correa is the batter. Carlos Correa is going to get a base hit. So let's see. We can't stop him from going. Yeah, we did. We stopped him from going to third. There's runners at first and second with um, two down. Let's get out of this inning, Bubich. And he's not going to do it. He's going to give up a three-run jack is what's going to happen here. So Buxton takes him deep, and now they have a 3-1 to one lead. Up until then, he was pitching great. Don't get me wrong. And then he strike, now he strikes out the guy. Well, that's great, but we're losing 3-1. So Selvi is up. Selvi homered, and he has our only run of the game. And right here, he's going to ground out to third base for one down. That brings to the plate Vas Pras Vinny. Pasquatino, and he is going to fly out. And he flies out to right, and that brings Fran Mil Reyes up. No wins for us yet. We've only played two games, though. 
This is the third. He flies out to left. I'm going to try to get the seventh out of Boobich. The Boobich man. I'm going to try to get the seventh out of him, but he walks a guy. So I don't like his chances. Here, There's a bunt. Let's see if we can at least get the guy out at first, and we do. So it's a successful, quote-unquote, successful bunt for them. Although, I don't like bunts myself. You're just giving the other team an out, and here, so here you go. You got a man at second, but now you need a base hit to score him. And he doesn't get it. He struck him out. So Bubich, really, it's not Bubich's fault that we're losing here. I got to get some guys up in the bullpen. We're going to go Josh Taylor, since they're having such uh, trouble with Bubich, and he's a lefty. Let's get another lefty up, and we're going to go back to the game action and try to get two runs with MJ Melendez leading off. And he's going to ground out weekly, but it's late. That was a, uh, what, do the, what do I call that? Um, a lollipop. That was a lollipop throw by Sonny Gray. So we got a man aboard with Oliveris up. And is he going to be out? Don't tell me he's out. He isn't. Good. Um, you got to watch that, especially with, uh, with uh, Vasquez. Because he's got a good arm. But we ground into a double play with Oliveris. So, uh, Kyle Isbell is the batter. Kyle Isbell is going to double. <coughs> he doubles <coughs> into the right field corner. And uh, we have to try to get a run here badly uh, off Lopez. We got Nicky Lopez facing George Lopez. And, but he strikes out. Thanks. So uh, we're still down 3-1. I am going to go to the bullpen right now. I'm not going to even let Bubich start the eighth inning. And we're going to, uh, he's going to deal to, uh, Josh Taylor is going to deal to Gallo. And Gallo is going to ground weakly. No, it's a lollipop. We're guilty of the lollipop throw from our pitcher. So, uh, there is a strikeout, though. He strikes out a right-handed batter. And now he's facing Correa, who's another right-handed batter and a good one. And he strikes out. Two down, and Byron Buxton is up. He's got all the Twins' runs with a three-run home run. And a dropped pop-up by Pasquatino. It's going to be a long year, people. It's going to be a long year. So uh, Buxton gets another shot, but he strikes out. Taylor strikes him out. I'm going to keep Taylor out there pitching as much as I possibly can. Um, we're in the bottom of the eighth. And Bobby Witt strikes out. Bobby Witt not having a good game. He had a great game last game, but not a good one here. And we really could have used it here. And that's going to be Massey going deep. He makes it 3-2. Michael Massey going to the stands, giving the fans a souvenir. And uh, that brings Selvi up. Salvador Perez, our captain, strikes out. There's two down. We're down by a run now. And Pascatino up. Pascatino has made a couple of errors here, or misplays at least, but he flies out to center. So if Josh Taylor can hold him down here, we got a chance because this is the top of the ninth and we're only down by a run and that's going to be a fly ball to left. So there's one down quickly and Taylor has enough gas in the tank to get through the ninth easy. Uh, but he allows a single. So if he allows a, a few of those, then maybe not. But there is a man aboard with one out. Relievers get used up a lot quicker, obviously, than starters do. That's going to be a fly to center and as Bell takes care of it. And uh, that's going to be a ground out to second, hopefully, and it is. So we need a run here in the ninth inning. If we get a run, we can keep this game going. I don't know if that would be good, but Fran Mil Reyes is going to try to help in that regard, but he grounds out to third base. So there's one down, and uh, MJ Melendez is up. MJ Melendez is going to ground out to third. And so there's two down. And up steps Edward Olivares. 
And he strikes out. And that is what you got right there, people. So we lose uh, we lose the game 3-2. to two. Really good effort by uh, Bubich, but let's look at some of the batting. You can take a look at some of the, the batters and how they did. Reyes was apparently our star, 2 for 4. Um, Massey was 1 for 4 with a home run, though. And Bubich went 70, allowed 5 hits and walked 1. Allowed three earned runs. I mean, that's a that's a quality outing right there. 103 pitches thrown, um, but I, I don't know. We just we couldn't do it. And uh, so uh, we are. If we look at the standings here really quickly, we're just going to take a look at the standings. You can see we are 0 and 3, and uh, not doing well. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm signing off.